I have found the perfect golf club, for me at least. This is the brand new Titleist U505 iron, utility, driving iron. And why I'm saying I think I found a perfect golf club without even fully reviewing this right here on the HIT channel, this club has already made it into my golf bag. I've personally always struggled, and I think a lot of golfers do, between that gap between the longest iron and the fairway wood. So I currently have a four iron as my longest iron, then I jump into a three wood. And in that gap in between, I've had things like two irons, even one irons in the past, three irons, hybrids sometimes, but I've not really ever got on with hybrids. And I've always struggled with a club to fit that gap. This is it. Now, a few weeks ago, I went down to Titleist to get fitted for all the brand new Titleist lineup, which most of the reviews you've already seen now here on the HIT channel. Um, and I got given this to hit and try. And at first I thought, there's no chance I'm going to like this golf club. And I'll tell you why. Behind the golf ball, this is a bit of an ugly duckling. This is not the prettiest golf club behind the ball. It's got quite a, a back end on it. Like you can see the back of the golf club quite a bit. Even though the, the front of the club and everything else kind of more ball facing looks fantastic. For me, I couldn't really, first look past it's uh it's big behind to be honest with you and um, until i started hitting it so this is a three iron um which again for me is is that perfect kind of distance i need to fill let me hit some shots I mean, i'll tell you a bit more about it i've had this club in the bag for a couple of weeks now i did loads of filming in scotland a few weeks ago and the amount of times i hit this club was a joke Oh yeah. Nice shot. Money. And it was literally my go-to uh, club off the tee and even into long par fours, par fives, etc. Let's hope it doesn't let me down now. Let's hit a few shots. And that's that's why it's in the bag. <laughs> it's just, I'm, I'm really, really enjoying hitting this club. So that was 219 yards of carry. The flight on it was so good. It's just up in the air. I feel like that's that's going to land great into a green, definitely. I'll show you some low shots in a minute, which I can also do with this club. It's just a nice stock three iron. Like that's gone a really nice distance to me, that kind of 219, 220 yards of carry. It's a hollow head design. Um, so it has that kind of crack to it when you hit it. It's quite a satisfying sound. And it's got, and again, something I didn't think I'd be able to look past, this really big fat sole on it. Like the bottom of the golf club is really chunky. And to be honest, I've been guilty in the past of judging a golf club too much on looks. I'm guilty of that, I really am. I did the same with this club. And again, it might be a lesson for everybody watching, maybe not judging a club solely based on looks. Give it a whirl because it might just surprise you. And that's what this club has done for me. It really did surprise me because there's no way when I first hit this club, I was like, there's no way this club's going to get in the bag. I said a few more standard ones. Just gives me a weird level of confidence. That was a little bit off the bottom, but it's so straight. Again, in the 200 and 11 yards of carry that wasn't the best strike in the world but you, i'm never going to grumble about that like on the golf course you're playing partners and say great shot and you go yep yeah, that was pretty good I'll hit a couple more standard ones mm. that's one to be honest, that's one of the worst shots i've hit with this club which listen it's not a miracle club i'm still going to hit bad ones that's me just leaving the face a little bit open there Need to concentrate a touch more. Then we're back on track again. Nice straight one down the middle. It's really good. Now, when I first started hitting this club, what, what I was concerned about, and this is kind of, luckily, the results answered the questions for me, is I didn't know if it had much versatility. Now, the big thing with this club, and this is the kind of tightest tagline on this club, an extremely versatile, high launching utility iron now yeah we want high launch definitely but for me in this club i also want it to come out low if i need it to again over in 
when I was up in Scotland hitting lots of Lynx golf, I wanted it to come out really, really low. And I was concerned because of the head shape, it didn't fill me with a lot of confidence to hit it low. However, I was actually surprised. I was pleasantly surprised. Let's try and hit a low one. Ah, I pushed it again. I got the flight. I just slightly pushed that. Something I need to work on a little bit. I keep opening the face a touch, but let me try and hit that super low one again. Oh, that's the one. That's the one that I'm loving. Look at that. It's absolutely down the line. 204 yards carry, 224 total distance. Perfect. Look at that, little chaser. I didn't strike that perfect, but that's that's down there. It's gonna be chasing down the fairway. It's still getting around about the 220 yard mark. Oh, oh, that's the one. Little low, bullet draw. Carrying in the 215 yard, I think it was pretty much, 216 yards. And the difference of flight there between those shots, like that was so much lower. So the first few shots in standard mode were 40 yards up in the air. Those last couple there, that was 24 yards up in the air. But then also, what I was pleasantly pleased about, if I'm trying to hit a really, really, really high shot and get it to land soft, let's see if we can beat 40 yards of peak height. I can literally send it up to space. I might just get a full set of these. I might just get every club in these. I think more than anything, like I said, it's, it's kind of a bit of an insight of my experience with this club and why I've instantly put it in the bag. And I, I need to remember this because I definitely get guilty of judging a, a club by its look solely. This wasn't a club that I loved the look of, it wasn't. But it's in the bag because of what it does for me, for me and my golf game, for my confidence. Um, this, hopefully, I can't see a reason why not, this should be in the bag for a long time. I'm very, very happy with it. Let's finish off with one more last one. Guys, thanks for watching. If you enjoyed the video, I know it's not so much of a normal review, uh, but it's more kind of an insight of why I've put this club in the bag. But I think it shows you a lot about the club as well. Be sure to like the video and subscribe to the channel. I'm just a huge fan of this club. I really am. It's going to change my game. Thanks for watching. See you soon. See you next video. Thank you.